Well, hello. I wanted to show you something I made, and I wanted to show you how I made it. I designed this paper, and if you like it, you can get the free printable on my Ko-Fi page. Um, the link will be in the description box. And uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a tag shape, and it's got a closure. And inside, there's a notepad. But what I wanted to do differently than Carrie, whom I copied, and her link is in the description as well, I wanted to put an envelope in so that I could tuck in some scripture, which is what I do. And then how to get saved. And these I will give out to complete strangers. I may attach a pen yet, I am not sure. But anyways, that's what I'm making. And let's get to it. So I printed this one, the PNG, I printed it on this colored paper. Um, if you just print the JPEG, you'll get it on white. I scored it because I have this pad of paper that I want to go exactly in the middle and I want it to fold on both sides. So I'll go ahead and fold that. Making sure I have enough room there. And that's where the envelope will go. Envelope or pocket, whatever you want to call it, because it's basically this one. I made some um, faux rice paper. So there's enough room on there for that. And then the last one of these I stapled because the pad fell apart on me. This one looks like it's all in one piece, so I might be able to just glue it in there. I'll try that. Of course, a stapler would be a lot faster. I just don't particularly like the looks of it. If you want to do that, you can. Now, before I do that though, I forgot. I need the tag shape. So my piece of paper is 11 inches wide. And so each of these segments is roughly three and a half inches. And I cut maybe one inch off because I needed it. I mean, you could make it whatever size you want, but I needed it to be long enough to have this tag or the, the pad in there. So I think I want that to be the front. So then what I will do is grab my knife. Actually, this one I'll just do with the scissors. I'll just pick an angle. And then I will flip that over to this side so I get a matching angle on this side. I see everybody doing that on YouTube now, so why not? It's easy. There, that way they match. Also, if you want to ink your project now would be a good time to do that. I'm really enjoying this photo, vintage photo. Okay, 
so that's that. I think I wanted to do the edges a little bit too yet. You don't have to ink it, I just like it. Okay, so that. And then I will attach. Oh, I need another piece of glue or tape. Always helpful if you can find the edge. Now this is single ply cardstock that I'm working on, so I'm hoping the double-sided tape will be strong enough. Oh, that's what I forgot. You see, we have to cut that. So what I'm going to do is just put that back on there so I'll do it backwards they should match since since I use the template right so I will cut that roughly there because it's so thick I'll need my knife We've got a thunderstorm going on today. Hopefully we don't get too much hail. Not a fan. Though we need the rain. Got this new camera set up, so forgive the shadows. I'm gonna have to work on the lighting. Almost through. All right, that'll be good. So then we can match that to the, roughly to the cut there. That should work. Okay, so that's going to be the outside and that's where I'm going to put my closure. I've already got one made, but first now that's right. I'll do the closure first because I want the envelope to kind of cover that up. So I need to make an opening or a hole for the for the closure. I'll do that back here. I decided to use a brad and some homemade paper buttons. I just doubled up some black cardstock. I figured that would match really well. Just poke that through on the front and put one on the back. You can see. Then For some reason, I like mine to go up and down. Sometimes I'll cover these with paper. Sometimes just with a sticker or something I have handy. Okay, so there's that. Then we can put the things on the inside. There's the envelope I chose to use.
I never know how these are going to be received because I am. My whole purpose is to share the gospel. And I found that people aren't very open in my area where I live, so I'm trying to get creative as to how they how they hear it or how they perceive it. I, I mean, if they're open to it, they're open to it. If not, then the greatest present in the world isn't going to help after all. Can't outgive God, and He gave us Jesus, so. Alright, so that is glue or tape on the envelope. So then I will stick that, like I said, roughly kind of there to kind of cover that up a little bit so nobody gets hurt. And then stick the goodies in there. These are um, bookmarks I drew, laminated myself, and I put a verse in the back. So that fits. These are the ABCs of Salvation, which I got online from JD Farag, his website. And then I usually put in a little extra tag in there that says you are loved and wanted just a little thing that I stamped so the closure is going to match this string here so there there's three things in there sometimes I really load it up but that should probably do then I decorate The envelope. So I picked some stickers here. Um, I was thinking I could put that one there. On this one, I actually printed out this page on um, sticker paper. I decorated with the stickers there. But for this one, I think I'll just put some of the other ones that I've made. Just homemade stickers. I make some of it on Photoshop, like the heart and the writing. And then I printed them out and then I drew on there. Are wanted and then on this side you are my hello sunshine maybe I did that backwards oh well they'll see both sides at the same time roughly I could do more but Sometimes it's just nice to keep things simple. All right, so there we have it. The notepad, the envelope, the closure. Now I just need to, here, here's one of those stickers. It's a leaf and I made a whole thing for it. So no muss, no fuss. edge that little too just to keep the look going well I hope you are finding some good ideas as to how you could possibly share the gospel without using words necessarily it's not my intention to bring you ideas you've never seen before in the way of products but if I can inspire someone else to share their faith that would be worth it for me okay so there's like the pull tab 
next time I might go for a complementing color or dirty it up some more. There we go. Okay, so then I have about, I don't know, almost 18 inches of string. You could use whatever you want. I'm using this string because it's handy and I like my stuff to look pretty, but I don't necessarily want it to be overly expensive, especially if they're just going to throw it out. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do with it, so I hope they like it. If not, they will at least have been exposed to the good news. So, all right, so then we wrap. Oh, that's right. I want to make a big knot over here because I'm not going to put beads on it or anything. Just kind of a... thing to grab onto. I can hear the thunder. greatest knots, but oh well, should do. Alright, so then I just wrap it around there as many times as you like. And that will complete it. So, let's make sure I did everything I wanted to do got my tag shaped. Looks a little bit off here because the sides aren't quite as, but then when they fold it together it comes together nicely. So yes, I will share this with strangers. Both of these actually. It's always, I always like to have something on hand that I am able to give on a note, on a, on short notice. So there's that one. And this one, I figured since it's summer, yellow would be an okay color to print that on. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. And hope to see you again. Bye for now.